yo ho ho and a bottle of dum. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, everybody. <laughs> I know you take the whole show episode. <laughs> <laughs> For those that don't know, that's a bar rescue episode. What's the name of that bar? Well, do you remember what it was? Was it like a tavern or something? Pirates Tavern. Pirates Tavern. Not even spelled correctly. It's P R I P I R. I was saying that sounds right to me. So T A Z. Sorry, my A T Z. My brain don't work. Excuse me. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> I spells words. <laughs> words. <laughs> English. Press one. <laughs> yeah. Well, my one button broken. <laughs> it's a two now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all that comes out of my mouth. (laughs) There's no second button. (laughs) No, not at all. The two button is matched to reset and it still don't work. (laughs) Right. All right. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's your lovely host, Darian and Michael here. Yep. (laughs) So I'm all giggly because of our challenge that we want to try to do today. We've got to be as gentle as... Dude, I almost slept right away. (laughs) We're trying to be as gentle as possible. I almost said gentle as effing possible. It just went, almost went right out of the window. We're going to do a swear jar, but we're both too broke for that. So, I'm just going to do tally and see who can actually do it the best, I guess. I think it'll be probably pretty close. It'll be a good challenge. Yeah, I've done YouTube long enough. I feel like I can, but we'll see. Because once I start laughing, they just start coming. Because <laughs> I'm not going to filter it because I'm laughing having a good time. So, we'll see. But so the story I wanted to, to tell you was, so I don't know if you did this in middle school. I don't remember the exact, like, thing it was, like, the reason why we did it. But we read, like, you know, these damn books, like Monkey's Paw. Have you read that one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I did, we read that, and then we did, like, a mini movie. What, what am I marking down? That's a swear word, partner. Which one? Damn. Nah, beavers make it. I'm not counting that All one. All right, fine. No, I mean legit swears. Oh, heck. <laughs> yeah, not ones like that. If you want right. to count ones like that, then that's fine, but I would never count those. No, because it'll be nine million tallies. Continue your story. <laughs> yeah, so we had to make like, I don't want to call it a movie because it definitely wasn't a movie. It was like a, a five, ten minute recap of the stupid book. and I, I Monkey's Paw wasn't bad. But we're talking about being serious actors. And the funny part was, <laughs> in my group, I wasn't even in it. <laughs> I wasn't in it. All I did was knock on the door. <laughs> that was it. I wasn't even there. <laughs> I was there. I just went, <laughs> and I ran around the corner. <laughs> I ran around the corner. They open it, and no one's there. But the one on purpose blooper we did, <laughs> I literally told them, dude, I should have a box and say, UPS, when you open the door. We planned that blooper. It was the best blooper. Everyone loved it. I'm like, how does a planned blooper go better than just something happening? <laughs> like, I did it with sores. He kept getting his lines wrong, which is pretty funny. And this is when he was younger, so he had, like, a higher-pitched voice. So when I think of it in my head, I don't picture sores talking like this. It's sores talking like this. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> But because we're talking about how we probably couldn't be serious actors, well, we could, but we'd rather be in comedies because I'd rather be funny than serious all the time. But I want to tell you that story because it's obviously bloopers are never planned, mm-hmm. but that one was. The whole class loved it. They're all laughing. They're calling me the UPS guy for a month after. I was like, <laughs> dude, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> I was like, it was planned, and all the other bloopers no one cared about. No one else even put bloopers in there. It's only we did. That's funny. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I'm literally just not going to do it. UPS, dude, anyone could have... I could have done that eight more times and just kept going through what else was there. <laughs> FedEx, <laughs> U- <laughs> Postal Service. USPS, we have <laughs> not ringed your bell twice, but here's the note for you. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yep. Yeah, that's what I'm dealing with now, too. That's great. I just don't get that. It's a part of your job. Why don't you just ring my bell? The or buzz, whatever you want to do. Just push the button. Well, they get, they're there. getting in there, leaving it in my mailbox. My right. mailboxes are inside. So all I got to do is walk in, press one, and it buzzes. If I don't show up, it means I'm not home. But if you don't buzz, <laughs> I can't come up. Right. If it's a gift. I don't know what it is. I haven't texted my mother. I said, do you know what they sent me? They're like, no, I got no idea. I said, well, let them know. They're giving us a hard time giving us the damn package. That's so annoying. Yeah, so. We're going to send Melissa there Tuesday. Well, I don't know when I'm going to have this come out. 
but for us, it's Sunday as we're recording this. Tomorrow's President's Day, so I know they're not open tomorrow. Right. At least I doubt it. <laughs> so I'll just send her that Tuesday. Hopefully she can pick it up. It says on there, pay fee of $3. I'm like, you serious? $3. For you not doing your job, I gotta pay you. Right. <laughs> for not doing your job right. That's Welcome stupid. to government work. Man, that was close. I got close on that one because I was getting <laughs> aggravated. <laughs> that took a lot. Welcome to government work. Yep. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, they're terrible. <clears throat> Anytime anything certified, I could stand at the door. They just walk away. Put mm-hmm. it down, walk away. Like, yep. Come on, really? There was one day I came home the same time. And I know it's getting a package delivered that day. And I said it was from the Postal Service. I'm like, oh, it'll be nice. I'll offer, because I knew it was a big package. I was like, I'll take it. Because I, I had my sliding glass door already open. Because mm-hmm. I was already in the house. So I was like, oh, I was like, I'll just go through the back. This guy's got to do nothing. Make his life ten times easier. I said, you got a big package in there for, uh, you know, for Mike Magwood's B1, whatever. He goes, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, I- I'll take it. That's me. He goes, no. Uh, really? <laughs> So I waited for him. He placed it, and I picked it up. I walked around outside. I was like, come on. I was like, why? I'm making your job easier, you lazy bastard. So. I also just realized you gave your real name up. That's whatever. I've been out there long enough. His real name's P. Sherman 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> this will be worth it. That's a dick move. <laughs> Makes it funnier saying that, so I'm gonna go with it. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> now everyone knows I live in Australia. Where right. the hell it was? <laughs> I don't remember Sydney, where. Australia. <laughs> Wallaby Way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Unbelievable. Now they know where you live. What are we gonna do? Eh, whatever. <laughs> Most of our listeners are in mass anyway, so they're probably just friends and family listening anyways. Right. <laughs> Come on, guys. We need your help. Yeah. Spread the word. Just spread the word, and I'll spread my legs. Just kidding. I won't do that. I'll give you a high five. <laughs> uh, hey, now you lost me. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I don't, don't want a high five. <laughs> what am I, 10? <laughs> no one does high fives anymore. <clears throat> Crotch taps. <laughs> I do high fives. Because when you start playing ball tapping games, I start playing no, face no, punching like, games. No, like touch. Oh, touching tips. Yeah. <laughs> Tip touching. <laughs> we like to order steak dips. Whack each other's steak dips. Oh, yeah, what else would I be talking about? Yeah, exactly. What are you looking at over there? The robots. The robots? Yeah. Oh, this one right here? Right in the front? Yes. Yeah, that's a, uh, that Lego set's the Hall of Iron Man. I can put a different Iron Man suit in each one of those ones that are kind of rounded. Oh. Okay. And the one in the middle is where one suit goes, and where the seat is with the blue screens is where Tony Stark sits. That's what that is. Speaking of Lego sets, they're making a BTS <clears throat> one. They just right. announced, yeah, it's coming out some point this year. It's from their Dynamite music video. Look pretty cool. Oh, nice. Yeah. Can't imagine how much money they made off of that. Only a hundred bucks for that set. No, 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 I mean BTS. Oh, 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 I have no idea. The way Lego is, they're cheap sometimes. <laughs> Ten percent of all sales. <clears throat> I tried to pitch ideas all the time because you're allowed to. You can just email them ideas. But anything rated R, they refuse to do. That's stupid. I get it. It's technically a kid's toy. It is, but I'm not telling them, hey, I want this one, and I want blood and guts everywhere. That's not what I'm asking for. Just make the characters and the cool set is all I'm asking for. Right. I'm not asking you to show people's, like, inner body parts or showing someone na- fully naked. <laughs> I'm not asking for a Game of Thrones sex scene. I'm not, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not what I'm asking for. <clears throat> that's fair. I'm just asking for something that's more entertaining, because a lot of adults buy the sets, too. I don't want to walk into the store and be like, hmm, what do I get today? Frozen or Barbie? <laughs> like, come on. Because <laughs> Marvel's always sold out. Star Wars is always sold out. And if they're not, the ones that are still there are the ones that have four to $500 that are sitting there. So I can't get those either. 
Last time I went to the Lego store, I was astonished at the prices. Oh, I know some of those huge <clears throat> sets are ridiculous. Dude, the discontinued Death Star goes for two thousand dollars. That's insane. And I want that set so bad. It's like three hundred bucks when available. Yep, probably. If that. Yeah, it's probably around there. Maybe five hundred, because it came with like fifty people. It's probably almost the size of this table. Oh, and yeah, it didn't huge. have it didn't have the outside walls. It's you can see through the whole thing and you set up mm-hmm. every single floor. So it's big deal. I'd love to have it. That's when I would glue completely together. Oh, even yeah. the people in there. And just always have it on display. I'd hang it somewhere as so on display. I would purposely just knock it over. Well when I glue it together it shouldn't fall apart. <laughs> I'm not just it gonna hang it. That's how up. good your glue is. If it's the glue of this friendship. Yeah, it's never coming apart. <laughs> I'd probably over glue that thing if I made it. <laughs> I'd go nuts. I'd do that, and I'd even buy the, like the, you know, I can get the spray glue, like it's mm-hmm. like a spray can. I'd even get that and do it all over after. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. <coughs> like all these other sets, I've never glued any of them together. <clears throat> I'm surprised they all made it in one piece. I think there's only one set I brought here that... It wasn't even like it was broken. It was like some of the pieces just loosened and I just pushed it back together. And it was fine. Very amazed. They're very durable. Because I've dropped stuff on them too. Like some of the soundproof and I was putting it up. I dropped one here and there. Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, there goes a the set. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> they even budge. I was even falling on this one here, the Avengers Compound, like five times, nothing, nothing happened to it. <laughs> it's still one piece. Don't know how it made it, but it did. You don't spin that Death Star, do you? Uh, I spin it when I first get it, and it just keeps going. <clears throat> so for those that don't know, I have one of those. <clears throat> I don't know if they sell this specific one anymore, but they do sell ones like this. It's a, a magnet... Uh, base and it's a, a sphere uh, speaker and I have a Death Star version I really don't know if they make it that way anymore I got that like years ago so when I got it I only got it because it's a Death Star I don't even use it as a speaker right. <laughs> I've used it once not bad not I forget awesome that thing either. is a speaker yeah I'll tell you now it's not the best of quality for a speaker it's okay it's good like for this room it's like perfect yeah. you don't need an amazing speaker in here but I would never use it for a speaker. Like, I had friends who were doing a party. The last thing I would use is that. <laughs> I'd use my Bose speaker instead. Right. I mostly like it just because of what it is. It's the Death Star. It's floating. And, I mean, no one else has a floating Death Star in the house. Not a lot of people, at least. Right. Which is the only reason why I like it. I was hoping, because the ones that they make, so, like, right in the middle of it, that has the LED lights, you know, it's, like, on and connected. And I was hoping mine would have that, but where, like, the laser comes out of. Because the normal brand of it is a green light that goes around. Yeah. So I was like, oh, if they put the green light where the laser comes from, it will be cool because you know it's connected because the laser's ready to fire. But no, they're not smart enough for that, I guess. <clears throat> but I don't remember um, who exactly made this. I think on Amazon. Let's see if I can find it because I, I do love that speaker. And if it's still out there, I'll tell people exactly what it is. Well, it pops up my type it in Amazon, so it might be out there still. Uh, no, actually, that brand still makes the speakers, but it's not Death Star anymore. Let's see. Yeah, see, this is pretty much what I have. But mine's a Death Star. It's the right. only difference. I think the only difference is the base is smaller now, it looks like. It's funny, the TIE Fighter next to it looks like it's got a red recording lens. All I see is a red light. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. I got this portal on my way. I don't know where that came from. Oh, it's from a sign. Yeah. Yeah, so I got that portal because originally I was going to do work with the Lego sets. Yeah. That's from a Lego game. Oh, jeez. I'm probably going to get it wrong, but it's like a multiverse. I think it's, it's not called Brickverse. That's not what it was. I think that's what I was going to call it. <laughs> But so all it was was geniuses <clears throat> found a way to go to other dimensions. Oh, that's the name of the game, Dimensions. That's what it was. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I caught my I caught the name while I was explaining it. So they go Big through different power. dimensions, 
and they would like add new characters. And when you played the game, you like Scooby Doo's are characters. You get him and Shaggy in the Mystery Machine. You can get the Gremlins. <laughs> what do you want that knife for? You have your own over there. You have your own toy knife. What are you intrigued by that? It's got different locks on it. Yeah. That's what intrigues me. Oh, no, that's what it was. Small things. Yeah. It's useful. I usually use like this most of the time. Mm-hmm. But okay. yeah. That's so, what you were uh, saying. <laughs> yeah, so that's all it was. They just figured out how to go to different dimensions to stop some bad guy from doing... I can't remember. I didn't play the game, so I don't really know what it is. But it's just them jumping from dimensions. Like the main character is Batman. Of course he's smart enough to figure that damn thing out. It's almost like they use Iron Man. Of course he's going to figure that out. He's Tony Stark. Right. That was close. <laughs> I, pa- I, I paused. It. I, I paused. I went to. I caught myself there. But yeah, so that's what I was going to do originally. But instead, I'm just going to go with the uh, action figures instead. They look a lot better. <clears throat> More expensive. But they look right. a lot better. <laughs> it's all right. Everybody's got a hobby. Yep, yeah, because I'm, I'm not going to do stop motion anymore. I'm going to do it like photography instead. I'm going to do comic strips. But actually use like physical Comic things. Figures. Yeah. Something that's actually physical. Like I would try to get like a thing of sand and try to make a base out of something just so the sand could be there and then dirt and I'd just keep them all stored. And that way I can just keep busting out which ones I need so the ground look more real instead of just a, a white table. <laughs> right. <laughs> Unless it's always snowy, then it works. Right. <laughs> and other than that it doesn't work out for Throw me. Throw a little sugar on it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, cotton, cotton balls. That too. Yeah, before we moved here, I used to have a, a lot, and I mean a lot of prop stuff. Some of it came with me. I even bought, they're like this big, perfect size for these people. It's literally bricks. They're miniature bricks. Are they the actual bricks? And you get mortar to put them together? You probably could, honestly, because they feel kind of... It is. I used to go to J&J Diecast Collectibles and get... They come in packages. They come in literal um, pallets. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It's if funny as hell. This one, it did. I got on Amazon. It came in a bag, but when I touched them, it's the same texture as a brick. Yeah. Yeah, I had those it's, as a it's, kid. They're in here somewhere. I know, I know they came with me, because I know I brought them. It's just a die-cast thing. Yeah, because I do like that stuff, and that's what I was going to plan on buying more. Because there's a guy on Instagram... That I follow, he makes dioramas. Dude, they look so amazing. Like, I can't, like, and he does photography with them. You would think it was real. You'd think it was the actual actor, because, I mean, the figures look like the actors. And you'd think it was from a legit set the whole time. You'd think it was like they just filmed that or they just did a photo shoot real quick. It looks intense. They do a great job. They even sell, like, um, like blood effects for action figures, and, like, one side. It just says, oh, insert this here. And like, it sticks into a certain person spot like in their eyes because like, the eyes and figures are kind of deep. So it can stick there and it kind of just sits there right. And it looks like blood that got shot in the face and stuff. It's pretty cool what people That's can do crazy. now. People have it for like effects of like falling on the ground. So like, if the Hulk fell on the ground, they make like a big crater you can put him in. <laughs> so it looks like he just smashed the ground. So you can find it. I got to show you because they're pretty awesome. <clears throat> I always thought they were so cool. Uh, now no, no, man, I'm blanking out on the name, of course. You know, Mike and his big brain activities. Big brain. Yep. It's always when I want to show someone something, I always forget exactly what it is, and I hate it so much. There's you, and then there's me with my ADD. <clears throat> man, I wish I remember what the hell it was called. Damn it. No, I won't remember. I won't remember what that guy's name is. But every time I see it pop up, I get so excited because he did one. Like, uh, it was Home Alone. You know, it was a kid from Home Alone, Kevin. But he opens up his Christmas gift. It's a Chucky doll, and he has a knife in his hand. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that's awesome. <laughs> it's so random. Well, that's what he, he just mixes random ones together. Like, there's one with a stormtrooper where the alien from the alien movies is, oh, like, eating so them funny. and stuff. It's so cool. 
Yeah, he mixes all these together. Like there's one with like uh, this guy did a stop motion. He had John Cena versus uh, versus the Predator. <laughs> it's so funny because you can't see either of them. Right. It's <laughs> so you funny. You can't see me. Like the, the bits that some people would do. Like one of them was like Popeye versus Thanos. <laughs> like the most random things ever. <laughs> you said one. I heard you there. <laughs> Let the viewers decide that one. Oh come on! You said that clear as day. I heard it. <laughs> I have no recollection. Of course you don't. Oh, I don't care. Because <laughs> you're special. <laughs> it's only one. It wasn't getting... even discernible. Now, you're, make... now you're making up words. Don't this. start doing that. <laughs> okay. You're making up words. Even if you look up and find them, so I'm going to say it's a made-up word because all words are made up, so. <laughs> Still a made-up word because someone had to make it up. No. You know, you have a valid point. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's why I always tell people, like, that's a made-up word. And they get mad. I'm like, well, all words are made up, so I'm still not wrong. <laughs> I still win, too. <laughs> I don't like losing. <laughs> Loser. <clears throat> I like losing, so that's my way of not losing those arguments. So I don't know a word. <laughs> I just thought it's made up. And then they show me, like, oh, so I had to make it up. So it's still a made up word. I got that from Thor. <laughs> he says that in a movie. I, I thought so. I <laughs> that line was very familiar. Yeah, he talks about a planet. And then someone goes, that's a made up word. He goes, all oh, words are made up. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, he's got a valid point. <laughs> so I use it all the time now. <laughs> Oh. One of the smartest things he's ever said. <laughs> he doesn't say a lot of smart stuff either. No kidding, that says something. I love Thor, but he's not smart. <laughs> not at all. God of Thunder. Actually, drunk Thor is intelligent. <laughs> he's a riot. Oh, I love when they, they're trying to talk of their plan. He has his hand in his pants. He's sleeping on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> like, is he asleep? No, I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the trash man that said that. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of his name. Rocket Raccoon. Rocket. Thank you. He's not red. Sorry. Sorry to inform you. <laughs> Dude, he is cute, though. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, in the new Guardians movie, speaking of him, we get to see him as a baby. I can't wait. <clears throat> really? I can't wait to see Baby Rocket. At the same time, I don't want to. Because I know his backstory is real effed up. I don't want to see what happens to the poor baby. Right. But I want to see how cute he looks. <laughs> Speaking of trash pandas. <clears throat> not that long ago when it was still warm out. We got a dumpster at my apartment. Mm -hmm. And um, I always say keep the lid closed because of critters. Yeah. But the small enough spaces a squirrel could get through or something. No. Nope. Yeah. The idiot below me. Keeps it open. Because, you know, everything I say, he has to do the exact opposite. Of course. Hence why I'm moving. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there was a trash band in there. It was not just one, there was three. Oh. <laughs> but let me tell you, I thought he was dead. Because it was like 95 degrees. Mm -hmm. And this dumpster was probably 130 in it. Yeah. Nope, he was sleeping. Doing him a snooze. <laughs> Doing him a snooze. So we grabbed a shovel. Started poking around to see if there was others in there. I tell you what, I have never seen a critter go from dead asleep to hissing and jumping and growling at me. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess somebody's a little angry today. Yeah. Well, he woke him up. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't even three at one time. There was him... And he left. I was leaving the ladder to get out. Okay. Usually they're stuck. Mm -hmm. And there was two for another day. But yeah. I haven't seen a single one since. We saw a whole family one at, at my parents' house once. Oh, yeah. You know how, like, my parents, the backyard, they had a new patio. They used to put the pool there and hang out. They're hanging out in the pool. I went in the house. I came out. I said, hey, you guys got some friends? Right on that tree line, there was like ten of them. Jeez. There was a, a mom and a dad. The dad must have been the one coming out of the woods. She was coming out like to investigate my parents. Then all the little babies and the mom were staying in the woods. So I was like, hey, you guys got some friends out there. Oh. They turn around, they're all just standing there. His dad didn't do what mine did. Went out for cigarettes one day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> cigarettes and milk. Just kidding. 
I just got dropped off at my aunt's house. Aunt and uncles. He has a child. All right, enough of that. <laughs> Say that's the world we're going now. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sad boy podcast. <laughs> Not supposed to be. <clears throat> supposed to be a bottle of dumb. <laughs> well, they're a bottle of dumb. They're the whole bucket. Mm. A whole keg of dumb. I like that better, a keg, keg of dumb. Keg of stupid. <laughs> Yeah, it's not a cake stain, it's a cake stupid. <laughs> <laughs> you need to use that on somebody. You're a keg of stupid. <laughs> I'll use it on my dad when I see him tomorrow. <laughs> hey, Dad, you want a keg? <laughs> I don't know why. A like, keg of stupid? <laughs> Looks like you already have it. <laughs> Dude, it gets me so bummed because he has a kegerator, but he doesn't use it anymore. It used to be so much fun. Doing parties, but it, I do get it. It is expensive. Cause I remember going with them to fill it up, and it's so expensive for a keg. It really is. So and I'm assuming that's probably why he doesn't do it anymore, but it used to be so much fun. Because we throw parties. Dude, so this is the funniest thing. My high school graduation, right? Friends are... No, not a lot of friends are coming over, because I honestly didn't have a lot of friends in high school, because I didn't like people. <laughs> I still don't like people. But the handful of friends I that I invited, which was like ten of them, my father talks to me the day before. He goes, "Hey, want to go override me? Get some stuff for your party?" I'm like, "Yeah, sure." First place we stop, liquor store. He gets a cake for him and the rest of the family. <laughs> and guess who he makes bring it out? Me. Unbelievable. <laughs> he makes me bring out the keg for the family and stuff. My friend's like, "Mike, did you get us a keg?" I'm like, "No, my dad did for everyone else." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was my high school graduate. They have a picture of it, too. I have it on a dolly. I'm rolling it out to the backyard. <laughs> yeah, my parents weren't really big on caring about us drinking, as long as we drank, drank at home or were we staying somewhere. Yeah, my parents like that, too. They didn't like me handing out drinks to people, my right. friends. They didn't care if I drank, because it's everyone else. Unless they knew they were sleeping over, and then they didn't care. Right, that was the general rule. If not yeah. you drink, you stay. But I knew my friends weren't staying, so I didn't drink because I wouldn't want to be the one guy drinking. None of my friends could, mm-hmm. so I just didn't drink that night. But yeah, speaking of graduation parties, I remember mine. I was zooted <laughs> at my graduation party. That was a that was a good time. I remember the first time I got caught drinking. I was like thirteen or fourteen. <laughs> I never got caught. I just kept. My dad, here, have some apple juice. I take a sip. I ain't apple juice. <laughs> That's my dad did to me all the time. Well, I didn't, it wasn't even, I got caught. But I was with my brother. Mm-hmm. Bad influence to begin with. <laughs> <clears throat> they started off with us smoking a couple bowls with each other. It was a good time. And then we had a huge party. I think it was my birthday. <laughs> they, yeah. Yes, it, it was. It was my birthday. <laughs> that was the whole reason I was zooted out of my mind. Well, it's acceptable. It's your birthday. <laughs> I was 13. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what I just said, crumpled up, throw it in the trash. <laughs> no, I, I think I was... Thir- yeah, it was 13. It wasn't the first time I was drinking, but it was the first time I was, like, rocked out of my mind. <laughs> so, all of his, his friends came over, a couple of my friends came over. Started off... A bottle of tequila? <laughs> Which was already a bad idea. Yep. <laughs> and then we were just drinking Bud Lights after that. I got a call about 2.33 in the morning. My dad woke up. Guess where I'm sitting? <laughs> the open door of my garage. Just sitting there? No, we're, we're standing. I was talking to one of my brother's friends. I'm just sitting there sipping a, sipping a Bud Light. No care in the world. Huh. The phone starts ringing. Dad. The hell does he want? What are you doing? Huh. I don't know, just hanging out. What are you doing? <laughs> That's a nice answer. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> just hanging out in the garage. She's like, oh, no kidding. I see that. <laughs> Get inside. He's like, what the hell's the matter with you? Like, no, talk to everybody else out there. He's like, just be safe. Don't be an idiot. Mm-hmm. He throws him back outside. That was funny. That was a good time. <laughs> He's like, I don't, I don't care what you do. Be, be smart be about it. 
As, yes, sir, as I stumble back out to the driveway. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? He told me to behave. Whoa, loser. <laughs> Unbelievable. This guy acts like he's my father or something. He's not even my real dad. <laughs> just start pulling out all the cards out. <laughs> I'm just kidding. He's great. <laughs> no, the one time, there was twice I ever did. Once, I never speak about because the reason why I don't drink anymore. But the first time I drank, I was at my aunt and uncle's house. I was like 19. But the first time I drank, like, and I hung out and drank the whole time. We are there, like, noon. I drank till, like, 8 that night. Jesus. And this was at the time where I haven't had beer before. I was just drinking straight out, like, wine cores. That was it. That's mm-hmm. all I knew. So I, I went through, like, you could probably imagine the amount of wine cores I went through in that many hours. Which, yeah, there's not a lot in there. But in that amount of time, that's a lot of alcohol I ingested. Right. So there was at one point we're just sitting and I think it's because I've never been, like, drunk before or tipsy. I didn't know what it was. I was freaking out. So I laid in the back of my dad's truck. I'm just laying there, just like this, like, relaxing, like, what the hell's wrong with me? And because my father and my uncle knew, which they're my best men, so they'll even know this story. My Uncle Matt starts putting tree branches into the window, poking me to mess with me, and I'm freaking out in the back seat. I'm like, what the hell's going on? I start freaking out. <laughs> Oh, my awesome. mom, my mom's getting all mad, like leave him alone. And I'm like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Freaking out in the back seat. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. And then, and the next morning, they're like, "Do you remember what happened last night?" I was like, "Yeah, I was getting attacked by a tree branch." <laughs> <laughs> I know who was doing it, but I knew someone was putting tree branch in the window. Yeah, I was just freaking out. Like, what the hell is going on? What is going on? <laughs> well, it's funny, like. Oh. I, I could tell I wasn't blessed because I, I remember that whole day, picture perfect, so it's not like I was really hammered, but right. I think it was the first time I got like fully tipsy. I just didn't know what it was because I never felt it before. So I was like, oh, I was like, maybe I just need to lay down. I was like, maybe I was sick I didn't drink water at all that day. <laughs> Typical July day in New England. It's not, not right. really that cool out. <laughs> it's 97 degrees. And I just had alcohol all day. No. Alcohol's got water in it. You'll be all right. Yeah, from that long, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe a couple hours, I could be okay. <laughs> Not from noon to about 11.30 at night, I don't think so. No, what's wrong with that? <laughs> Who needs water? But I've had, like, even before that, we were doing, setting up for the, the barbecue. That, I don't remember exactly what barbecue it was. It was one of our typical ones we do every year. Helping set up for that. Was drinking with them at lunchtime. Did more stuff. Still was drinking. Partying, drinking, <laughs> help clean up, drinking, then laying back, laying in the back seat of the pickup truck and attacked by a tree. <laughs> that, that's how that, that night went. <laughs> that's how that, that night went. That yep. <laughs> well, yeah, I still like like this is what people don't get. I like drinking, but I don't like getting wasted or tipsy or nothing. I just like a drink or two. That's about it. Right. I've that's had one terrible. incident that ruined it for me, so now I make sure I don't get there ever again. Spoiler alert, I'm not a happy drunk, which is why I found that out the hard way, and now that I know it, I refuse to get there. <laughs> I'm a very angry drunk. Yeah, I'd probably rock you in the mouth. Yeah. So, as soon as it, like I did that to my family, as soon as I realized I was like that, I'm like, yep, nope, I don't drink anymore. So that's why when people are like, that's all you have? I'm like, yeah, that's it. That's all I need. I just like the taste here and there. Well, that's why I get, like, drinks like Captain and Coke or, like, a screwdriver. Stuff that has something in it. Because then from there, I just switch to that straight-up drink after. Just not that booze part. So, like, if I was having a screwdriver, I'd have one, maybe two. Then I'd just have orange juice after. Right. Because then, for me, because I hate when people keep saying, you're not going to drink more. I just get that same drink. So, I think that's what I'm drinking all night. That's just what I do. I just turn it to a virgin version of the drink after. There's nothing wrong with that. No, and hey, it works like a charm because everyone's so damn dumb they don't notice. Right. <laughs> That's why it works out with Captain and Cokes. I could just have one and then just drink Coke. No one would know. Mm-hmm. No one have any. You can't tell. <laughs> You're not taking my drink. Because what I would do is I would just take the straw out because you know how bartenders try to take the straw with the cup. Mm-hmm. I take out the straw and I keep putting it back in there so everyone keeps thinking I got alcoholic beverage the whole time. 
there's a whole master plan I have, so I can just do what I want. And I don't have to have people weirdly judge me for not drinking. I don't, that's, I never understand that. I don't judge someone for not drinking. Yeah, I'm not that stressed. That's why, <laughs> that's why I look at it. I had a customer, <clears throat> and I will swear, just to get the story up across, and I don't care, I'll put the tallies down. He's an Irish guy, so you can imagine how he talks. So that's why I'm going to talk like how he does, because it's kind of hard to blur out what he says, because I just won't say anything. <laughs> Because I'm friends on Facebook. He goes, oh, you just bought a house? I was like, yeah. I was like, condo, yeah, whatever. He goes, oh, that's nice. And he goes, yeah. He goes, uh, you drink it all? I was like, no, not really. He goes, what the fuck? You don't drink at all. No fucking booze whatsoever. Fucking nothing. The whole time. <laughs> F-bomb the whole time. Oh, yeah. I was like, no, I, I don't. I don't drink anything. Not really. He goes, your life ain't fucking stressed enough. Just wait. You fucking wait. You'll be drinking a lot. You're fucking drinking a lot. I swear. I'm like, dude, that's the most times I heard fuck in a, in a paragraph ever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like astonished. I don't even know how many times I said it. I'll count it later. But that, that's all it was, was fuck everything. It's pretty much what he said. I, I was more amazed by that than anything else. <laughs> he what? was talking, I was like, you said fuck like 800 times in that paragraph, dude. Right. <laughs> so, one day I was at my house cleaning out my camper, getting ready to go up for a mud event up in Maine. My buddy Phil was supposed to tell it. And I was taking the trailer with the quads and everything. <clears throat> Like, I have a potty mouth. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Oh, yeah. He's an old porgy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know how they are. <laughs> it's every single word is fuck after it. Yeah. I have a guy at work that's like that. Yeah. Old porgy. Yeah. Like, he's like I, that, too. I don't care. You swear all you want. Oh, yeah. Sentence yeah, and answers, way. baby. Yeah. That's all it is. But even then, I was like, I know you got a bad mouth, but. What the hell? Yeah, I know. It just shocked me because my dad was sitting there talking to us. You know, dropping a bomb here and there. Yeah. So here's Phil. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck this. What the fuck? Here the fuck. There the fuck. Yeah. I'm like, dude, <laughs> simmer down a little bit, would you? Yeah, I know. We're not in the middle of traffic. Is. I can only understand. I can only imagine the middle of traffic. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yeah, I know. Like what I still want to do for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I can't even count that. We probably both broke a limit by a mile there. I'm going to bother. I just put a bunch of tally marks in mine. I even... <laughs> We did a lot already. It's all right. I got it out of my system. It's been, been coming. Yeah, you, you did that. I'm going to say about eight times. I think that's pretty damn close. I know you said it a few times. Good enough. Now we're almost tied. <laughs> you're still, you're still losing. That's all that counts. That was the bet. Yep, <laughs> the bet of nothing. <laughs> OTPHJ. That's the bet. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you want to go into the pants? Nope. <laughs> no. You're no fun. <laughs> Just not tonight. <laughs> oh, tomorrow? I'll show up tomorrow. Yeah, that. maybe. Depends on how good the Ant-Man movie was. <laughs> Rocked up! Right now! <laughs> Meet me at the house! <laughs> it takes me 25 minutes. Make it 20! <laughs> I'll be there. <laughs> Do you know why they say, be there or be square? Yeah, because you're not always around. Yep. I'm always round. Oh, me too. I told my daughter that's shape. He goes, yeah, you gotta get in shape. I am. I'm round. Round is a shape. <laughs> Mike, you were being serious here. And I go, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm still not wrong either. Oh. It's a shape. I'd be worried if I was a square. Right. You look like SpongeBob. <laughs> yep, Sponge Robert. <laughs> I was watching my guys. I always watch on YouTube. And they're playing. It's called Scriblio. It's pretty much like playing. Um, like Hangman, I guess, or like, uh, like that game Draw with Friends that used to be on the iPhone. Remember that game? Yeah. It's pretty much that, but just on the computer. So, so this guy joins in drunk, one of their friends. They're like, who's this guy? And he starts laughing. He goes, I'm here, and now I'm drunk. <laughs> and then one of them drew SpongeBob. And he goes, that's a Sponge Robert. <laughs> and he's completely wasted. That's funny as hell. Then he's like, I'm trying to record, but I ain't recording right. And they're like, well, yeah, it's probably because you're drunk. <laughs> he's Sponge getting, Rob. He's getting all mad. He's like, 
It's not recording right. What the hell is this? It's getting all mad. My audio levels are messed up. They're like, God, maybe it's your eyes that are messed up. <laughs> and they're like, why are you drinking? Are you playing Call of Duty? And he goes, mm, no. <laughs> mm, no. <laughs> not I. I'm like, oh, so you're just drinking? He goes, mm, no. <laughs> this is so funny. Not but I. Even when he's drunk, he was beating them all in that game. He's guessing drawings like halfway through, and everyone's like, I don't even know what he drew yet. <laughs> he's like the master. And he calls himself Jiggly Panda, but he yeah. typed his name by accident, Jurgles, because he's drunk. And like he goes, like 10 minutes into the video, he goes, I just noticed my name's Jurgles. <laughs> like, oh, you didn't do that? No, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I just noticed my name's Jurgles. Jerkly panda. Yeah, they go. Hey guys, big jerkly panda. <laughs> it's so funny. I just like when he shows up drunk to stuff because he's so oblivious to everything when he's drunk. <laughs> he doesn't realize nothing and he doesn't understand anything. He's just lost. That's beautiful. It's great. There's there's one where uh, he's not drunk. He's sober, but you hear him fart on the microphone <laughs> in the background. And he can go, you just hear, and then the guy goes, hey, what was that? He goes, what was what? And he goes, what was that? And he starts laughing. He goes, what, did you hear a barking spider? He goes, I thought I was over here discreetly farting, but no, someone had to hear me. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like when you try to discreetly fart in church. I did that one time. You yeah. could hear it through the entire church. First and last time I ever went. <laughs> I gotta find the family guy bit from you. He's farting, but he's using the storm to hide it, like a yeah. thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> then he farts, you just hear it, then you hear thunder, he goes, the storm's moving away. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find it. I sent that to someone. I, I bet I can find that one quick. So I have those always on standby. They're just great. Family Guy once. I only send the one person he's Family Guy once, unless the guy got rid of him. I hope not. Actually, no, I recorded it on my phone, I think. <laughs> because my dad being dad, he won't <laughs> just use TikTok like a normal person. I gotta record videos on my phone. Typical. Typical, typical. Yeah, oh, <laughs> I found it. like the the doth farts from the star oh no this one when he's frozen in carbonite in the star wars and they open him up And there we are. <laughs> <laughs> if only we had a camera. But I think we'd be copyrighted at that point. Yeah, that's why I just play audio. <laughs> well, yeah, those are so damn oh, funny. Man. I don't care how old you are. Farts will never not be funny. I know. When people try to tell me that, like, I gotta grow up, farts aren't funny, I'm like, dude, what's your problem? <laughs> what a fart I, ever I do to you? Said, I almost said my true thoughts on that one. F you. That's what I say to them. <laughs> it's like, what a, what, do you have a bad fart? Is that what it was? No kidding. You were the guy that pooped your pants. Hey, did I ever show you the one of uh, the kid saying to the dad that he's an effing legend of how he survived COVID? <laughs> I, that that. I want to see it again, though. Get the Vietnam flag. How did you survive the coronavirus, Dad? I drank a shit ton of bourbon. Fucking legend. <laughs> that kid's awesome Oh, I'm going to do this to my kid I think I sent this to you I'm going to do this to my kid <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm curious if that was real. If that was, that's goddamn impressive. <laughs> I know, but dude, that's just so funny. I'm definitely doing that to my kid. I'm straight up gonna do that. <laughs> I can't wait. That's my favorite thing. Whenever I see like what people do to their kids, I'm like, yeah, I'm doing that to mine. <laughs> you ever seen the ones when they uh, they throw the piece of cheese at the kid's head and they just stop crying? I'm 100% doing it. Locked and loaded. I have craft singles in my back pocket at all times. <laughs> it's like Napoleon Dynamite with his uh, tater tots. Yep. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one too. This is a good one. Donald's is always fucking up my order, bro. I asked for Sprite and they gave me clown juice. Donald's is... <laughs> It's so innocently stupid, but so funny. <laughs> they gave me clown juice. <laughs> What's it? Oh, this is a good one, too. Why are skeletons so calm? Why? Because nothing gets under their skin. Bro, I'm dead. <laughs> Bro, I'm dead. There's a skeleton, skeleton. down the stairs. <laughs> That's awesome. I love those ones. There's one. I can never find it because it keeps getting deleted. It's, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> I was head of a subway, I think it was Subway of D'Angelo's, it said Sweet Onion Teriyaki, but they spelled it so wrong, the guy reads it, and he goes, Sweet on a Eye on Teriyaki! <laughs> the fresh avocado, the free shabaka. Yeah, it's the same thing, <laughs> same thing, but this was a guy that did it, not, not a chick that did it. Oh shit! Free, 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 sh- free Shabaka do. You ever see the guy yell mashed potatoes in the playing golf? I don't think so, dude. Classic. <laughs> mashed potatoes! Oh, this is a beauty. <laughs> Didn't get any more than twenty feet off the ground. <laughs> Eat mashed potatoes. They got a new thing called for show. <laughs> Free Shavaka do! Free Shavaka! Oh, dude, this clip's awesome. Can you grab me a screwdriver, please? I already drank all the orange juice this morning. What are you talking about? I drank all the orange juice this morning. Would you guys have a Red Bull? Red Bull? I asked you to grab me a screwdriver! Oh! (laughs) I love that. (laughs) I love that so much. That's beautiful. I love it. Oh, this one, a dog scared of a fight. This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> they cry for help. <laughs> that was wet. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I just like to yelp the one dog made. Right? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I always find these gems. Like, I watch people react to TikToks. Then I legit search it up so I can find it so I have it. <laughs> and then I send it to people. Like, this one's skiing. This guy, he goes, <laughs> he's trying to talk on the camera. He goes, and you hear someone coming, I can't slow down. Earl, he goes right by. <laughs> so, I can't slow down. So, anyways. <laughs> Pizza! Pizza! Oh, dude, this one's... Your pizza, bring your french fry! Oh, this one. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, welcome to the ASMR podcast. (laughs) Now I can't help him find too many funny pictures and stuff. Oh, man. How are we doing on time? Oh, let's see now. We're getting close to an hour. But yeah, dude, some of these TikToks I find are so awesome. Oh, they're a riot. <laughs> this one this is the last one I'm going to show you because I don't want to keep showing TikToks on me. I'm going to see it. Hey, you ever accidentally masturbate to young pictures of your mom? What the fuck starts a conversation like that? I just sat down. (laughs) I love that one. (laughs) That's so fucked up in so many ways. 
<laughs> I just love how it's not. Hey, you ever find young pictures of your mom accidentally messaging him too? Who the fuck that's a conversation like that? I just sat down. <laughs> Like Man. bits like that, I want to like recreate in real life. <laughs> yeah, that'd be hilarious. That'd be fun to do. Yeah, it would. I think this year we'll stop making that live action stuff. Now we actually can get a production going with people. Last That's couple right. of years it was kind of tough. Yeah, I want I want to do some skits and stuff like that. It'll be fun. Yeah, I gotta figure out my camera. We could start using that. I'll bring it over next time. We can mess around with it. Yeah, that's fine. I meant to do it today, but you know, life happens, and I'm dumb. So there's that. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna say we're pretty much tied. I think I might have said one or two more than you did, but we both said a good amount towards the end. We started loosening up. <clears throat> but we did talk. We wanted to try to make it better in the beginning anyways, which kind of worked. Right. So we kind of got what we wanted to do, the goal. I don't know if we'll always do it. This is like an experiment. See if this does anything better for us. We'll see. If not, then we'll just go back to how we were doing it. It don't matter. Right. This is just to help the YouTube demographic. Cause I, I hate putting them as no kids can watch because I know that hits a lot. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so. That's all. all right. Yeah, anything you want to add in? You good? Pretty good for the moment. I'm sure I'll have something this week. But, uh, as always, just want to <clears throat> thank everybody. All the listeners, I want to thank everybody. Thank you. Yeah, no and thank you. Um, without you, we wouldn't be nothing. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try to get more content out for you guys this year. Kick it up a notch. Right now, it's kind of tough to do this type of stuff in the winter. I, won't lie. I lack motivation in the winter. Yeah, <laughs> I lack it heavy. I almost didn't come over today. <clears throat> yeah, I wasn't even sure if you were coming over. And honestly, I was like, if he doesn't, I'll have my pajamas. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, it's, just, right. it's just hard to in the winter because the weather sucks. Yeah. That's all it is. The weather didn't suck and it wasn't... You get the seasonal depression, which doesn't help nothing. But on the bright side, we're pretty much into March now. Yeah. So hopefully we lucked out with the winter this year and it wasn't too bad. We didn't. Specifically because you just opened your mouth. Oh, no, everyone's been opening their mouths. So I'm not going to say it because of me. <laughs> I'm blaming you. No, That's fine. I, I got a feeling we're going to get it. The snow coming up this week. No, I've been telling people that, too. It's good. We're going to hit with an April Fool storm or something oh, yeah. like usual. I'm sure we will. That's usually how it goes. We have a nice January, February, March. Like, man, we might have lucked out. April 1st, foot. Foot of snow right mm-hmm. there on the spot. Like, oh, yeah, you, this, you thought, bitch, and they threw it out. <laughs> Only bright side is at that point in April, it just goes down the drain. Right. That's the only bright side to it. It just, that initial day sucks. <laughs> a day or two after, the roads are still crap. Yeah, because it always sucks when it's nice out and then snow comes down, because then it's just a big fucking mess. Right. It's all it is. So it, it just, it's a disaster for a couple days, and then it gets, goes right back to normal. Just makes everything muddy and wet and gross looking. Yeah. <laughs> Sucks. Yep, but yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna April Fool's storm this year. That's what I'm predicting. Is that or somewhere close to it? Yeah, I just call it April Fools if it's gonna get that close to it. That's what I call them. Like the one we got like three or four years ago, got hit with like a fucking blizzard April first. Right. Woke up and like, yeah, we got a, we got about foot and a half, two feet of snow coming. I was like, oh, wonderful. <laughs> this is just beautiful. It's like that meme when the dog's in the house, everything's on fire. This is fine. <laughs> That's just what it was. <laughs> we got two feet of snow coming. That's fine. <laughs> I don't want to go outside that anyways. Was originally a scene from Family Guy. It was Brian Griffin. Yeah, I don't he, remember correctly. I think that was after the meme came out. That was that was like one of the first memes, but meme wasn't like what it is now. Are you sure about that? It might is be. That, I'm almost positive. 
Yeah. That's a Family Guy episode. It could be, but... It's when they opened the bar. Oh, when they opened their own bar, Peter's blind. And Brian saves him. I remember Peter was blind and he's in there. <laughs> oh no, Brian doesn't even save him. Peter helps the guy that runs the bar gets out of there and they interview him on the news. Like, sir, well, probably have the courage to go in there on fire and save that man. He goes, that boy was on fire? Because <laughs> he's blind. <laughs> and he freaks out. But I don't know how you'll find something like that online. Because I don't know if people track when memes come out. Right. So I don't know if that's a thing you can find. That's a good question. All right, and that's it. That's a podcast.